Hey everyone, Tragic here with something a little different. I recently heard about Hyborian Gates from, uh, what's his name on YouTube? And I uh, thought, hey, you know what? Let's, uh, let's check it out. It turns out that full boxes of Hyborian Gates go for about $14, including shipping on the Ebays. In fact, uh, the seller of this box of 36 packs threw in a two pack of starter decks in with it. So let's open this up as well. And take a look. Um, having never really heard much about this game in the past, I wanted to just kind of check it out blind, see if I figure out how to play a little bit. Some kind of card setup tokens Chaos, Osiris, Atlantis, Asgard, Gaia, and Hyboria. So I think I did skim the Wikipedia real quick. There's six realms that you're trying to gain control of so those must be the realms that's kind of cool here's the rule book and we got whoa hey what's in here maybe these are tokens some kind of like punch out it's like a foldable punch out of grass this is your grass type maybe i see you fold it into like a fan or something the, oh is it a gem or a mountain the possibilities are possible yeah, maybe it's like some kind of like, <laughs> is that like a cone of Dunshire? Oh, these goofy old games, right? So you got like a lava and a snow and some kind of yellow, blue, green. Yeah, I'm not sure. You'd have to actually read the rules, which I'm probably not going to do. A war without limits needs heroes without equals. And there's a bunch of like symbols and stuff that are going to be on each card that... You'd have to read through this whole thing. Pyramids, yeah, pyramid complexes, troopers, vehicles, vortex tactics cards. See, I'm sure it would be a lot of fun, but I'm just mainly going to kind of look into it. So this was like a two pack. Uh, I think it said it was randomized. I don't think these were like pre-made. I guess we would have to see. You'd have to be an expert at this game to really know. And I just kind of want to look mainly for the art because from what I've seen it's pretty rad got Boris Vallejo and Julie Bell was that the name I'm sure I got that wrong a vampire moon solid look at that that is so cool power surge it negates the effect of one Gaian magic card so specific to one of those realms this is play against that and the back kind of looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh Pokemon kind of deal uh, but the front is very magic, very swords and sorcery. So yeah, whatever that is, I'm sure it means something. 2-2, two, two, you can kind of think that's power and toughness, something like that. I'm sure it was played a little differently. The maker of this game is cards. So, uh, you know, back in the 90s, they were trying to throw stuff at the wall and see what stuck. This was not one of the ones that stuck, as far as I can tell. Doom suit, so that's like a mushroom cloud. And like some kind of cosmonaut helmet. So, well, there we go. This is what I was expecting to see. Some cool uh, fantasy art there. But apparently it turns out there's a little bit more contemporary stuff going on here as well. Char Dragon. See, this reminds me very much of like the Dungeons and Dragons art of the 80s and 90s. Very nice. White Magic Vessel of Deuce. No Siren Tech. And look, it's like a spaceship. I guess... Uh, other planets can have sword and sorcery and uh, spaceships as well. I don't know what this symbol is or what this one does. This allows owner to bring a second trooper into the battle from the ready area. Very cool. Let's kind of flip through this. Dude, a hot chick riding a chrome shark. How did this game not succeed? That's beyond me. Very cool. Some, uh, some partial nudity. <laughs> I mean, I'm into it. What can I say? A transport bot. Very cool. The Blaze Goddess. These are great. Fallen. See, look at this look like straight out of G.I. Joe. Minor Black Grunnel. Hyborian Trooper. So correct me if I'm wrong, Hyboria, isn't that the the realm of Conan? is Conan actually in this game? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. This guy's seeing like into the infinite right there. The power within destroys any gate except enemies only gate. Look out for those enemies only gate. 
There's some like Space City. Very cool hairdos on these people here. The Mist Dwellers of CERN. See, that looks like Conan to me. Viking gods. That's, uh, they don't, he doesn't look like a Viking to me. He's like a barbarian, right? So there might have been a little bit of uh, um, not co coherency between uh, the way that these cards were created. They had a ton of great art available to them. Lifters, this guy's swole right there. The Nile's gift. So this must be an Egyptian realm. Ship of the Ages. He's got a gun. Hey, there's a uh, tabernacle. Castle Standish. Major players. Amazing art. I mean, Boris Vallejo. Says it right there. Some cat ladies. The feline femmes of Nerth. <laughs> These are great dinos of the mount. The Surge Protector. Fangs. These are awesome. Weapon Masters. Red Slayer. Yeah, I mean, just, just the art alone is worth that my 14 bucks that I paid. Peace. Painted Woman. Tarn Women. So these are like, I'm seeing Boris Vallejo on like all of this. I haven't seen, I think it's Julie Bell. Is that the other name? Just some snake body. Mershans. <laughs> they're Marsh. They're merfolk from, Mar from Mars. Is that how that is? Prevents all forced discarding by enemy while this card is in a dimension. Put it in any dimension and it does a thing. Sand Shawl. There's Julie Bell. Yeah, okay, there's the name. Plus four and plus two. Sand Shawl, Gaian Companion. Forces Osiren Companions to fight for her trooper. So, from what I somewhat gather, this game was super confusing. Um, yeah. Uh, as compared to the simplicity of Magic the Gathering. Um, can't happen. So yeah, it, it just didn't really take off. Um, there's a ton of these dead card games out there. Fun stuff. Oh, got a little, got a little nudity there. This is a, a Thoth's Gate. One, two, three, four. So what do you do that? So these are gates. Okay. So there must be some way to travel to the other dimensions with the gates. See, I don't know. It could have been fun, right? The Bladesman. Agnerius Gate. Another Viking Gods. Very cool. So I'm going to open up just like a couple of these card packs here to just kind of get the flavor. These are limited edition. So limited, in fact, that this was the only edition, I think. Where game, the game where magic and technology meet. Well, that makes sense now. If I had read that first, I would have understood that you can actually have technology in this game. Look for randomly inserted cards found only in Hyborian Gates limited edition booster packs. Exchange the ancient gate for a signed and numbered limited edition fine art print of a recently commissioned yada yada. So there's like some kind of premium card that you can get to do an exchange. Let's see. So we got the flavor from the starter deck. Now we got a new growth and a Helios. Would we would we be able to tell the rare card if we found one? Let's. Uh, I see one that's got like a white border coming up. Maybe that's the clue there. Cool vampire looking guy there. These people are ripped. These. How can you get anything done? We spent all our time in the gym, right? That's what I always say. Red Rob. Actual robot. Tech or vehicles do not add to troopers. Sure. And it has some kind of swapperoo symbol. Action Mistress. Looks like Sarah Connor. White Rider. He's wearing red though. He's got white pants. Does that make him a white rider? This is uh Oh, it's a punch out. So you get a punch out with every pack maybe. Styx's Gate. There's that castle again. Looks like a tabernacle. These people again, major players. There's the cat ladies again. Dinos of the Mount. Add four to strength versus chaos. Surge protector and fang. So I don't know what would have been a rare card in there. It's impossible to tell. Love the flavor, I suppose. I'm a sucker for just weird sci-fi fantasy stuff. This would have appealed to me if I had even known about it in the last 20 years. Laz Couple. Okay. Ton. Okay. Restless. Okay. Lost in thought. Very nice art. Just love it. 
This guy, monster friendship. I don't know if she wants to be friends, to be honest. No means no, ape dude. Protectors, Hyborian companion. Discard to negate one power surge played against attached trooper. This sounds very difficult. <laughs> the Peak Twins. There's some twins there, all right. Zagreus's Gate. Got another pyramid. This game is all about the pyramids, probably. Uh, Weapon Master is the Red Slayer. See, he's wearing green, though. She's got red on. Bugle of the Vortex. It's like a sousaphone. A battle sousaphone. All right. There it is. Lady of Ice. Looking nice. Alien Logic. <laughs> the, the little antennas do nothing to distract from the rest of her modern man like, he's got like a members only jacket or something on and uh he's got his pop collar that's that says modern man right there sends all tech and companions to the ready area very cool all right let's do one more i've uh no one wants to see me watch open this uh whole box do they rest stop double the strength of owner's companions the tactics very cool. Anteria. Asgard Trooper. Nature's Call. You gotta watch out for a very nice mountain. Just like a white out snow mountain. And a dolphin. Ar Archeon's Atlantean Companion. Adds seven to strength on defense versus Osiren foes. It's so specific that you gotta like attack and defend by the six different realms or Brack the Brave. I used to love the Brack show. He doesn't look anything like him, though. Adds five to strength versus Atlantean foes. Look at this guy. Last Minotaur. He's last because he's got so many eyes. He was able to see his way out of danger. Weapons of Thor. Thor would have a different weapon, I would think. Kraken's Gate. So, yeah, again, there's some pyramids. This is all about pyramids. There it is. There's a blue pyramid. It must be the Atlantean Pyramid. The Cones of Dunshire, I'm calling it. Weapon Masters, Red Slayer. So these are my, these are commons. We've seen these again. There's the Alien Logic Girl again, and the Modern Man. I, I, I might have to change this to my thumbnail for my channel. What do you guys think? All right, that's enough of that. Thanks for stopping by, checking this out with me. I'm really interested in these kind of like non-MTG cards, uh, even non-sport cards. Check out some of my other videos where I've done things like that. Uh, hit like and subscribe and comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tragic MTG saying catch you later.